Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And also Friday and Saturday. It's Coachella 2024 with the just announced headliner, No Doubt. Warning, the first three rows will get nostalgic for their childhood in the 90s. Gwen Stefani and No Doubt are reuniting to headline Coachella this year. Yay. Uh, this is a big deal. They actually haven't performed since 2015. They teased it with like a video like an hour before um, saying they should do a show. Maybe we should do a show. We should do a show. I'll do a show. I'm going to do a show. And then like about an hour later, they announced the headlining uh, lineup alongside Lana Del Rey, Doja Cat, and Tyler the Creator. Worst lineup ever. It's awful. It is really bad. You know how it's bad? Because it's the first time I want to go to Coachella. <laughs> yes, even though all the artists are talented, some music fans say the lineup is underwhelming. When I looked at the lineup, I thought, wow, do people not want to do Coachella anymore? That's a good question. Why is Coachella struggling this way? It's because they let in too many people. It's too crowded now. Oh my gosh, you are <laughs> oldest man in the room. It was always crowded, dude. Oh, and the noise. Oh, and do you know how much it costs for a bottle of water at these things? <laughs> hey, just because he's the only 20 something that gets the AARP magazine doesn't mean he's old. But come on, this lineup's not bad. This is an okay undercard, but where are the headlines? You are crazy to call No Doubt an undercard. No Doubt is a headliner. No Doubt dominated my entire high school run. So did getting your head shoved in a toilet, but no one's gonna pay to see that. See you at Coachella, everybody! <laughs>